I am childishly, in a good way, I hope, um, excited to recommend this book uh, today. And unfortunately, I don't have a hard copy, which I would prefer to have. But so it, it is on my Kindle, which is a direct consequence of coronavirus. We can blame coronavirus. But this is the cover of the book. It's The Narrow Land by Christine Dwyer Hickey. Uh, when I was rereading the Irish Times review, uh, there was one sentence in it that I fully agreed with. It doesn't even represent the majority of the praise he heaps on it in the Irish Times, or the reviewer does, but it's the sentence that I had to agree with wholeheartedly. And it's just, it is a long time since I have read such a fine novel or one that I have enjoyed quite so much, which seems a mild enough statement in itself, but believe me, it is absolutely true, as if it is being said for the first time. It is about Edward Hopper and his wife, Jo, very importantly about the wife, Jo, uh, and the relationship, among a thousand other things, of Jo to her husband's prominence. Um, always an immense problem. Uh, as for Christine Dwyer Hickey, you might be familiar with some of her other books, Cold Eye of Heaven, Last Train to Liguria, and the famous Tatty, which is her Dublin book, as it were, uh, which was recommended to me in turn uh, a good many years ago by Dermot Bolger. So I am assuming that this recommending of books does work, because that's where I began with this writer. Um, the reason, the reason it's so delightful on a human level to read is it is written with a quite a, a hugely unusual level of precision, uh, also of love, but also what Matthew Arnold recommended for all artists, a sort of disinterestedness, which doesn't mean you're not interested in the thing. It means you've kept a certain interesting distance from the subject matter, which is very, very important, ironically, in order to get close in on it, uh, if you follow that contradictory statement. I just want to read the first few moments of the book, if I may. Um, it's a section called The Bringer of War, and it begins very, very quietly, but as you will see, with a whack of recognition in it. At the top of the terminal steps, the boy stops short and the woman pulling him along pulls harder. The boy resists, this time bending at the knee and pressing his weight down into his heels. The woman waits a second and then spins around. What? What is it now? What now? As she turns, her basket swipes the side of the boy's bare leg. A long red scratch springs out on his skin. The leg flinches, but the boy doesn't make a sound. He looks at the leg. He looks at the basket. Then he looks at her. He leans to the side and allows his suitcase to slip out of his hand. I'm not going, he begins. You're not going? What do you mean you're not going? I don't like. You don't like? What now don't you like? Now... I think every human creature on this earth at some time in his or her life has dug their heels in deeper like that. And it just goes on from there. You're swimming in a recognizable sea. The book itself is like a house with all its windows and doors thrown open, except for certain rooms where you seem to be peering in through the glass, which, of course, is a very Hopper-esque uh, experience and all the more powerful for that and the incohutness in cahootness of Christine Dwyer Hickey with her subject matter is uncanny and indeed the next time I see her I would like to ask her how she crept up on this book because it really fascinates me having said that I just want to clearly recommend published by Atlantic Books The Narrow Land let me give you the cover, by Christine Dwyer Hickey, which has just won the wonderfully prestigious Walter Scott Prize, and well-deserved. And the judges summed up their 
thoughts by calling it a masterpiece, which it is. Thank you.